everyone. My name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. I've done fields and lab research myself in the STEM field, so I know how hard those can be even under the best of circumstances. We at University Libraries wanted to help you keep your research program on track during the COVID-19 pandemic, so we're kicking off a series of videos, live webinars, and live question and answer sessions to talk about ways that you can keep your research going even in these difficult times. Our goal is to help research stay on track. So whether you're an undergrad researcher working on your honors thesis or working in a lab, if you're a graduate student who's worried about missing out on field or lab work during the temporary closures, postdocs, we know you're only here for a few years, so you're in a hurry to get papers out. Faculty, of course, your research program and funding are dependent on getting papers. And faculty members are mentoring undergrads, grad students, and postdocs as well. So anyone doing research, this is for you. In terms of serious logistics, we're going to do two video sets per month through July. We're going to have transcripts and slides in addition to the videos themselves. And each set of videos is going to cover three main resources. We're going to be talking about quantitative meta-analysis, which is essentially an analysis of other people's analyses. So You'll be seeing larger trends in the broader literature. Synthesis, a literature view, is similar, but it's not doing a statistical analysis of these studies of concern. And so we'll talk about methods for literature review. This can help keep you on track if you're writing um, just a review paper or if you want to do introductions to your chapters. And then we'll also have a lot of videos on finding existing data. So these are not data in your research group, but data outside used by other studies and repositories and associated with papers. The last video we're going to have in this upcoming week is going to be tips for getting started. So a broad perspective on what you might want to consider for each analysis type so that you can start planning with your collaborators, with your advisor, with your principal investigator on what direction you may want to take this summer. All of these videos and live Q&A sessions and feedback sessions are going to be announced on Twitter, as well as on the Data Analytics Visualization and Informatics Syndicate listserv. So if you go to our page, libraries.ou.edu slash Davis, and scroll down to the listserv subscription, you can get those announcements emailed to you. I'd like to leave you with some encouragement. These are definitely rough times, both for our personal lives and for our work lives, and we are here to help you get research done. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email and I will be happy to talk with you. Thanks again for joining us and stay safe out there.